This morning, we are following a developing story. Nine fire crews working overnight to put out a fire at the Pulaski Church of God. WSLS 10 crews have been there talking to the fire marshal and the pastor. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joining us now live. Aaron, what are you learning this morning? Good morning, guys. Yeah, crews are still on scene here in Pulaski at the Church of God. You can see they've been working overnight since they first were called here to the scene at around 11 o'clock last night. Joining us now to talk a little bit about this fire and what we can expect over the next several hours is Fire Marshal Tar Todd Garwood. So what are you guys doing right now? Well, right now we're doing salvage and overhaul, and the whole purpose is to find hidden fire and make sure we've got everything extinguished. And so you guys have all of the crews really from Pulaski and the surrounding areas out here, right? Yes, ma'am. We have every representation from Pulaski and Pulaski County. That's a total of eight different fire departments. Uh, we have the city of Rafford making nine, and then we have uh, two from Wythe County because 11, and then we have Christiansburg Fire Department that is covering our call area. So you've got all these guys coming in from different departments. Everyone's worked well together. Um, it's been a great team effort, great support. Uh, I can't say enough about the hard work these guys have done all night. Yeah, that is truly amazing. And talk a little bit about what you saw when you guys first arrived on scene as well. well when I pulled up a lot of heavy smoke and we had fire coming from the center of the church, um, this was the children's church. You had your hallway and your um, nursery and some classrooms and then the main sanctuary. And we had fire breaking through the roof when we pulled up. And finally, very quickly, what's next for you guys today? Well, we'll make sure we get all the fire out, let it cool down. I'll be calling ATF this morning just because it's a church and the high dollar loss. And um, I'll begin to my investigation to determine origin and cause. Okay, thank you so much for yes, your time. And we spoke with the pastor. He tells us that tonight, during the normal Wednesday night service, they'll use that as a time to prayer to move forward and figure out what the next steps are for the church members here in Pulaski as well. We'll continue to have updates for you on this fire throughout the morning. And the latest is crews are here working to get things under control. Live in Pulaski, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. That's right. I've been checking in with the fire marshal throughout the morning, and he tells me the pastor is estimating about $2 million worth of damage here at the Church of God in Pulaski. That's part of the reason that the ATF is being called in for such a huge loss. Now, he says that the investigation of this church behind me will take some time because of the way that it collapsed. They're going to have to go layer by layer, so they're going to have to start with the roof and then go down to all of the ceilings, to the walls, so they can finally get down to the floor and better investigate what caused this fire. I've also been talking with the funeral director at Bauer Funeral across the street who's opened his doors to this, these firefighters to come in, relax, have some coffee whenever they can get a quick chance. I can't imagine too many people around here that don't have a connection, even if they didn't go to church here. I mean, with just the size, um, size of the facility, I mean, what it's been able to, you know, to stage any kind of ceremony that they, you know, people have needed, but it's, it was, it's pretty emotional. Now, crews have been out here since 11 o'clock last night when they were first called to this fire. They're expected to be out here really throughout the day as they're working to put out the rest of those hot spots. Then that investigation will begin later this morning. So it's really going to be an all-day event. We also want to remind you that the church is holding a prayer session tonight at 7 o'clock during the time that they normally have scheduled for their Wednesday night service. Live in Pulaski, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10.